hey guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel um first off i want to say thank you guys for coming back to my channel every week it means more than you could ever know um also please um i don't know if i'm doing it right but please follow my instagram if i do it right it'll be right here <laughs> i'm not that good at editing it so like whatever it'll be in my bio too if you guys um want to follow me i'm such a dumbass i should have plugged it in my story time and in my other videos but i you know whatever wasn't thinking don't know why but yeah um we're gonna get into it because girl i don't know so if you were here last week you saw my video that i made about my hate comment um it wasn't completely about that it was a vlog where i like read a hate comment i thought it was done deleted we don't have to worry about it again because i thought that they deleted it because i came home that night and didn't see it but for some odd reason i just couldn't see it on my macbook on my youtube account but i went on my phone and i saw it again today so i was just like okay like weird but this time it didn't sit right with me so i checked my analytics and i'm like okay how many people really saw that on the trusty dusty macbook covered in thrasher stickers they had a tin pack like what do you want from me i don't know anyways i was like okay who all watched that video this week and I saw, oh wow, okay, 269 people saw that and read that comment, maybe. And it was just like, okay, that, you know, didn't sit right with me. But can we talk about how in seven days I got that many views and um, it would take a couple weeks to get to 100? That is really cool to me, guys. I don't know. Anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah, seeing it again, um, made me itch it rubbed me the wrong way this time <laughs> so i was like okay let me reply now i'm gonna put everything here for you guys but i'm also gonna just you know read with you because you know we love literacy if you missed the initial comment from last video don't worry i got you i'm gonna read it for you um this was a week ago from the fat cats <laughs> Do you really think you are cute or sexy? You would make the hardest steel turn into soggy noodles. Why are you telling all these lies? Well, most of y'all are storytellers, so that's what y'all do. Even though we know y'all are lying attention seekers, y'all can be entertaining. That was the initial comment. Now, first, I want to point out that that is not a lie. The video was not a lie. It is a real event, a real date that I went on with a real guy I met on real tender. I don't have the type of imagination to conjure up something like that i i was never very imaginative so also it's just so particular like a tinder date with a guy who coerced me into kissing him and then none in his pants like how would i conjure that up it's too specific to even <laughs> to be a lot i don't know if anyone else thought it was a lot or whatever but to clarify it's true unfortunately also please don't mind my nails times are very hard right now um so yeah today i decided to reply and we are gonna read again here comes the trusty dusty macbook once again I'm, i'll show it up but i'll also read for you because you know literacy english you know um to that comment i replied good thing i literally do not care what you think about me have a good one they then replied minutes later like waiting by their phone for me to reply <laughs> okay seeking more attention of course you care get a life <laughs> keep in mind i this is a random person under the name fat cats so yeah love that i haven't replied not really because i'll just delete your comment no need for negativity here. Hope you get the help you need and stop commenting on hate on people's accounts. <laughs> you don't even know. Kind of sad, actually. Once again, have a good one, love, and thanks for the view. They, then he or she, I don't even know who the fuck this is, then commented, with the content you post, it's so obvious you need attention and help. It's actually really sad that you have no self-love or respect. See a therapist ASAP and take the medication that's prescribed to you. I then replied, so you're watching the rest of my comment too? Can we start over? <clears throat> so you're watching the rest of my content too? Thanks, girly. 
and then I left it up for five minutes because I know that they saw it because they were replying back and forth like they had no job or anything to do. I, anyway, um, <laughs> then I deleted the comment. And um, <clears throat> like I said, I would because I didn't want their attention. It's fucking negative, ugly, stank coochie attention. I don't want that at all. So it's like, why did this have me thinking? Y'all, I don't know. I've just never been that bitch to hide behind an account with like no followers, no pictures, no nothing, and just say something negative. Even about a celebrity who would probably never fucking see it in their comments. I would never, could never be that person. It's just ugly, stink coochie energy. And notice how I was able to laugh it off. Some people can't do that. Some people are deeply affected by words. Okay, and honestly, if you said this to me two months ago, I would not have known what to do. I was severely depressed like two months ago. It just really made me <sighs> sad, but like sad for them. I still think it's like really funny. I'm not hurt by it. Like I, I, I don't care about them. They, you know, they didn't affect me. <laughs> but yeah, it just goes to show you don't know what the fuck people go through. And it makes me really sad that people have to stoop that low if you ever done that to anyone, I, I'm questioning you. I don't know. Like, girl, I literally have, I have, I have my crystals here. I have a candle burning. I have an incense going. Like, literally, let's just cleanse the channel right now. Cleanse myself. Cleanse the channel. Not my first like negative thought about me. You know, not the last, definitely. So. I was kind of careful on how I handled this because I didn't want to come on here and like spaz, like fuck you fat cats, like no, I <laughs> I don't know you, I don't know who you are, I know you give off really bad energy <laughs> just by the way you talk, the way you, you comment on people's shit you don't know and you know what, I'm rooting for you. If you're watching this, which I know you probably are, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I'm rooting for you, fat cats. And um, like I said before, if you said that to me two months ago, you know, you kind of missed your mark. If you wanted to hurt my feelings, you missed your mark. You are months too late, you know what I mean? With that being said, I wanna talk about how I deal with depression. Now, not a pretty subject, you know, no one wants to talk about it, we gotta talk about it though. Cause whether you know it or not, people suffer from it. You might suffer from it. You might need some help or advice. I don't know. Just putting that out there, words hurt. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what that could do to them. That could be their breaking point and they like do something to themselves. I wouldn't want to be the cause of someone like hurting themselves because something I said to them. That would make me feel terrible. Like I, I don't know what I would do if I told someone to like kill themselves and like they fucking did it because of what I said to them. Like what? Like I would probably be in jail. Isn't that like a crime? Isn't that like manslaughter? I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Y'all, I just wanted to say really quick, it is actually second degree manslaughter if you tell someone and kill themselves and they do. I cannot believe any of that. I'm so smart. Okay, bye. But yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how I deal with it. Maybe you'll deal with it a different way. We're all different. I don't know. But maybe my way can help someone. One person out there, I don't know. If I can help one person, then this video is for you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. So yeah, first of all, I learned my love language. I already kind of knew it, but I didn't know how to like reiterate it to myself. My love language is um, physical touch, whatever. There's five languages and it's really all about learning yours. Um, when I realized that and thought about how I could input it, what is that? What is the word I'm trying to use? I'm trying to use big words. It's not coming out right. Wondering how I could Wondering how I could put that onto myself. That's not worded right. I'm so sorry. You know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I read somewhere online that if your love language is physical affection, then you would like go out and buy like really nice soaps and scrubs and loofahs and like just really nice shit to put on your skin. That is how you iterate your love language onto yourself. If your language is giving gifts, then you would obviously get gifts for yourself quality time, do things that relax you, make you happy. That is low key another one of mine. I love to drive. I I couldn't tell you why. I don't know why I like driving. I just really do. Late at night sometimes, like 10 p.m., I get in my car and I just, I go drive. Like anywhere, everywhere, it doesn't matter. Um, sometimes I paint. I'm not very good. Let me show you something. 
I tried to paint the flower boy cover didn't turn out right but you know it's something um yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know but also let me show you something can you see how the cloud there's a truck outside my house can you see like how the clouds look detailed and like you know in depth I love that I did that I don't know but the grass looks really bad because I tried to like you know make it grassy I failed but I'm really happy about it and the blending isn't that bad for my this is my first time ever painting the blending is like you know not that good not that bad but you know whatever yeah quality time I use that for my love language because um I love being relaxed things that relax me words of affirmation okay I see hella of these on TikTok on TikTok I see a lot of like positive words of affirmation that you can tell yourself in the mirror like I'm beautiful I'm enough I'm worth it um just shit like that that has honestly helped me because I was insecure for a long time I don't know for a long time I didn't like the way I looked and um I was insecure about it and that really helped me a lot um saying it in the mirror before I go to bed when I wake up um writing it down really helped me um another thing that really 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 helped me I honestly just I pick a day and I jump in head first. Um, around then, my room was really dirty. I hadn't showered in a couple days because I could not get out of bed. Like I was literally that down, that depressed. I picked a day and I said, you know what? On this day, I'm gonna do everything that I have not been doing. And I did it. I did clean my room, showered, um, shaved. I've never been like a shaver, only when I had a dick appointment or whatever. You know, I do it often now because it's, you know, physical touch, whatever. Um, literally anything I can do, my makeup, my skincare, that involves like, you know, like touching myself, then that didn't sound right. I'm not talking about that. But um, but yeah, that is what I mean by that. That's when I got into makeup. Um, I love to do my makeup. I don't know why. I just had a love for it. I think it's so annoying now, but I do it whenever I feel down. What else did I do? I went to the grocery store for the first, I left my house for the first time that day too. Went to the grocery store, picked up lots of healthy shit. Um, I think I'm still on a healthy cake. I don't know. I had McDonald's for dinner tonight, so probably not the best. You know, change is not overnight, so whatever. Yeah, and that day I felt so amazing. I felt so uplifted that night. I meditated with my um my little crystal ring that my cousin made me, and it was like the best night I had in a long time. And I literally only took care of myself that's all i did like it was the best day i had in a long time that day <laughs> that day i cleaned my room my mom came in she was so surprised she bought me a salad she was like what the fuck you cleaned your room i'm like yeah she's like what sugar is this i'm like oh my god girl i was depressed i didn't say that to her because i don't want anyone to worry about me that's another thing i do Another really bad thing I do, I bottle shit in until it drives me insane, which is not a good thing to do. Um, journaling helps with that. If you don't have anyone to talk to, I um, mostly keep everything in, which is not healthy. I turn to journaling and like, you know, meditating, manifesting to deal with that. And um, it helped me a lot. So if you are like me, one of those people that literally feels like they don't have anybody, that's not true. People care about you. People love you. But I understand you may feel like that sometimes. So try journaling. Um, if you can afford therapy, you know, please do. I I'm poor. I can afford. <laughs> I can afford therapy. So more power to you. It's not embarrassing if you have to go see a therapist. I was in therapy like one time when I was in high school, and I stopped going because I was definitely afraid that my mom would like worry about me and think something's wrong with me. Which I mean, something was. I was depressed in high school too. So she would put me wrong so you know more power to you if you can get that that extra help but yeah that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for coming back every week it means so fucking much to me you have no idea i hope to see you guys next week also yeah see you guys next video bye